thoracic extension mobility impairments are common due to the American lifestyle. To assess for this, you want to rock back onto your heels as far as possible, put your elbow down, and rotate. All the rotation will be coming from the thoracic area, and you should be able to get about 30 degrees past neutral with the arm behind your back. This position locks out every joint except for the cervical and thoracic motion, so try to keep your neck in a neutral position. If you find that it's tight, you can use the thread the needle exercise with the foam roller. You can start by this, which gives you a good rotation, and then advance to rotation one way, and then extending out the other way. This gives you full rotation of the thoracic area. Make sure to stay rocked back on your heels to prevent twisting of the lumbar spine. When working on thoracic extension over a foam roll, you want to make sure to keep your core tight so you do not arch your low back or flare your ribs. If you arch your low back, you are more mobilizing the low back and not the thoracic spine. Start at one joint and slowly move up. Once again, keeping the core tight and preventing any lordosis in the low back. As you move up, you should be sure to set your core each time. Once again, making sure not to arch your back. As you can see here, if I arch my back, I get much more range of motion, but the primary movement comes from the lumbar spine.